Hi you guys, so today's video, we're gonna be washing the My Salon dolls here. Now, I'm just gonna tell you some pointers, okay? Lukewarm water, not hot water. Shampoo condition. You're gonna need um, shampoo conditioner. You're gonna need a little comb like this, and you're gonna need a little claw clip like this, okay? You can get this from a dollar store, it's not expensive. It's just shampoo, condition, whatever you have at home is just fine, so. Um, we're going to be using lukewarm water to wash your hair. It is damp right now, but not washed. Um, it will tangle, and you may have dyed bleeding um, when you wash it. So your parents will know when they look at it. You'll have a little bit of dye bleeding from them dyeing the hair or whatever. We're going to wash it, okay? So, and we're going to take you through the detangling thing, you know. Lukewarm, not hot. So you want to get it nice and wet. It does tangle. So just keep that in mind, you guys. It will tangle just a little bit. Take your shampoo. Whoa, that was close. Professional, isn't it? Okay, you're going to take your shampoo. Whatever you have on hand is just fine. So I'm just using this because I have this on hand. Uh, my shampoo. You don't want to, like, you don't want to scrub. That's the main important thing is not to scrub. You don't want to agitate and scrub the scalp. This is this has no scalp, you know. And you just want to massage the uh, shampoo in the hair. You want to get all the build up and all the gunk out of the hair. You can see it takes a lot, a lot of bubbles. Depending on how much product you use, I mean, like the shampoo should strip everything out of the hair, so you should be just fine, you know. See, I gotta get close to you guys. So you can see it's making a lot of bubbles. You know it's working, you know. So, shampoo, don't aggressively scrub. That's the main important thing. If you do that, it's gonna tangle crazy even more, you know? So I'm using lukewarm water, nothing special. Just regular frosted water, whatever you have. You're just gonna wash. And this is human hair, so it will, the curl is gonna drop whenever you wash it. So that's the main important thing. You can strip her clothes off because I chose not to because of YouTube's policy. They don't like nakedness as far as dolls is concerned. So that's why she's wearing the clothes and she's getting a little bit wet. So it should be fine, she's a doll. So when when you shampoo, you wanna condition everything, just make sure you get everything nice and not dry no more, you know? You wanna rinse all the shampoo out. It's very, very important to rinse the shampoo out. So. As you can see, it's extremely matted. You can see the matting that is happening from washing. You can see all of that. That's what happens with these dolls. This is human hair and it's gonna tangle. But it is possible to get the tangles out with enough care, okay? And she's all nice and washed. She's a little bit tangly, so we're gonna use some conditioner. Her hair will be extremely dry, okay? That's why I recommend you to stay away from hot tools. Hot tools tangle the hair and you will have, the livelihood of your doll will be shortened by a lot. So, and you can leave the conditioner in there. So I think we're gonna do that since our hair is so severely tangled. We're gonna leave the conditioner in while we detangle. That's a little trick you can do and that's what we're gonna do. So just get your conditioner, put the conditioner in the hair and we're gonna use that conditioner to detangle, okay? And then once it's detangled, we're gonna come back to the sink and rinse it all out and show nice, smooth, pretty hair. You can blow dry it too if you want to, but that's just gonna cause more tangling. So we're gonna put the conditioner in our hair. Just put as much as you think you need. You don't need a lot, it's a doll. So put your conditioner in the hair. We're gonna to go to the table and we're gonna detangle. So I hope you guys are ready for that. So get your little comb and get your little clip. Okay, we're gonna gently detangle her. You need this, this, and you have the conditioner in the hair. So stay tuned, you guys. Okay, so you guys, I wrapped her up in her little towel, and this is the severity of using hot tools. When you use hot tools with the doll, it causes way more tangling than when you don't use the hot tools. So this is why I was saying to avoid the hot tools. I'm trying to make examples out of this doll of what not to do. Now you could do it, but don't do it very often because you just, you see the mess that it is right now? You have to detangle all this and you have to take your time. She's on the table for video purposes. You do not have to do this. You can put her 
on your lap and you'll sit there and detangle with her. So let's take your comb now. We're gonna take section by section, little sections, and gently detangle her hair, you guys, okay? So this is the thing with these dolls. They do get a little bit tangly, you know? And they do get tangled, you guys. Look how, look how many tangles and things like that happens with this doll. It is a very, very nice doll here, but it takes a lot to maintain this girl. So we're gonna try this, you guys. Um, and again, I just, I didn't even agitate it. Could you imagine if I would have agitated the hair and just washed it like a scalp thing? Like crazy, dude. So we're gonna um, detangle her hair with you guys live on camera. So um, just start from the bottom and just work your way up, okay? I might cut, you know, sections out of this video, but I'm just gonna show you one section on how to do this and you just keep going until you've completely, you know, done. It's very much your responsibility to take care of this doll. So this would be like your little baby. So you gotta take care of your babies and make sure they're, they're detangled and nice, very gently detangling her hair. It is possible to do, okay? So you can see, leave the conditioner in the hair while you're doing this. Very, very important. If you try to dry brush this, it's not gonna be cute, okay? You have to take your time and detangle and work your way up. So go down and just start going up. That's why I recommend you for an older child because older children will know how to do this. Young kids are not gonna do it. So just, you see how easily the tangles are coming out with the conditioner in the hair? Just basically gliding through it. The conditioner, it makes it so much easier and it's not gonna be as long as a process as you think. You think, oh my God, it's gonna be so much work. No. You see what I'm doing? I'm gently gliding the comb through and it's coming out all the, I mean, it's like all the knots are just sliding right out of you guys. So that's the thing, it's so easy to do. You just have to do it, okay? I'm gonna show you this whole bottom section and just show you how easy it is. And I'm gonna go to another section. You know, you will have to pick with it from it. You know, just slide your knots up very gently. You shouldn't lose more than two or three strands of hair the most you know if you're doing it gentle doing it right you shouldn't lose a lot of hair at all so that's the main important thing so start from the bottom and work your way up and you should be a-okay so do this okay this is a detangling video so hope you guys are enjoying this some quality content right here with the dog Wanting in the background, you can see how easy I'm going. It's not hard. Doing it very, very gentle. That's the key, gentle. Not hacking through it like a crazy person. You see any hair on the comb? No, there's no hair going on the comb. You're doing a good job, okay? It's very, very important to take your time and to do this, okay? And even after you finish, you can even leave the conditioner in overnight and let it like deep condition, which would be really great for the doll itself, I think, from after combing and styling. So you can see, see how easy these knots are coming out? It's very, very easy to do. You just have to take your time and just do it, you know, and you'll get it done. It takes a little bit of effort for older children. It will be a process, okay? This is why I tell you don't use hot tools. I mean, it's a process. Every time you hot tool this hair, you have to detangle like this. It is crazy tangled right this. It takes a little bit of effort to do this, okay? And you just kind of slide your comb down and the knots are gonna come out. You don't wanna hack through it like a crazy person. You just kind of, not really back combing it, but you know, slide your comb down and it'll be fine. And you have to take it section by section and do this, okay? As you can see, it's coming right on out, no problem whatsoever. So you get up to the scalp and then you just keep going. You will lose a little bit of hair at the time, but not as much as you think. You think it would be like, oh my God, crazy, I'm gonna lose this doll's whole head. No, it's a process, okay? You can see like all the knots are out now, completely. That's how easy it is, it's so, so easy, you guys. You have to have a lot of patience with this doll and after you completely detangle her, you wash it out. And then you have a nice fresh doll for the next time you're ready to curl the hair. 
So it's very, very important to, um, you could say, bam, now I can get my comb straight through it, no problem. So how easy that was, detangled, fresh. One section done, you know. And she doesn't have a lot of hair when it's wet. It's really strange, okay? I'm gonna do this next section now. I'm just taking random sections and I'm kind of separating them with my fingers, okay? It is a really, really cool doll, but Lord Jesus and mercy, when you curl it and then go to wash it, it gets really tangled. And that's what they don't show you on the YouTube videos of how severely tangled she gets. You can see like it is not naughty and like tangly, but it, it does come out, okay? That's part of why the reason why they don't do dolls with human hair, because they get so severely matted. It's just insane. Use your little comb. And here's your next section, okay? And you start from the bottom and you work your way up and you just keep going and do a little transformation video. And you seen how tangled it was in the video at the um at the stage of hair washing. And you just grab the whole thing now, huh? Yeah, you just take your comb and gently detangle. Starting from the bottom, work your way up. Hair, human hair is very fragile at the wet stage, so when your doll's hair is wet, that's the most fragile state of the doll, you know? So you will get a little bit of dye on the comb. You can see like there's dye going on the comb. She's just gonna, her dye is just gonna bleed till there's no end, like literally. So it is a really, really cool doll, but I'm just gonna be honest with you. It is a nightmare when you try to do anything to it. So just kind of, you know, gently, gently, gently. Wiggling the comb as I'm going down and detangling. That's why I tell you it's for older children because younger kids are not going to be able to handle all this. This is a lot. But it's your baby, so you take care of it how you wish. So it is possible she was even brushed before I shampooed her. So I brushed her hair completely out with a paddle brush. Her hair was not tangled at all until it hit the water. The lukewarm water so I'm gonna take another section now it's coming out very very quickly as you can see this is another section done really nice and conditioned okay you can see I can put my finger straight through it now so she's going really really good you guys I'm gonna do my next section now so you got this you guys just keep going with the comb Working way down to, to up, and you're gonna get it all nice and detangled, you guys. It's, it's gonna look gorgeous. So when you start getting towards the top of the scalp, you wanna just kind of agitate it a little bit. And what I mean is like this, wiggle and just pull down. And you will get through the hair. It's, it takes a minute, you just wiggle it and you just pull down. And if it starts to kind of grab, you let go. You don't wanna pull, you wanna just wiggle and detangle. You know, it's not... It's, it's, it's human hair. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. This is why they don't do human hair with dolls in general. It's because they tangle so easily when they're washed. You have this pick in that you can just kind of dig through also, which is really helpful. So you can take this pick end also and just kind of dig through it and just get all the knots out. Gradually get them out, you know. You can see like she's actually didn't take a lot of time at all. So... And as you can see, it'll all just glide right out. It's not hard to do at all. That's why I said this is definitely for older children that knows how to do hair. Because otherwise it's gonna be a mess. So give them a responsibility to take care of their babies, you know, and make sure you get them like strand by strand done. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I'd love to hear them. She didn't have any dye bleeding, not this time. This is like this is down to like the third time I washed her. So you could say, bam, the conditioner is still in her hair. It's making it a lot easier to slip through and to get rid of these detangling things. This is why this lady never did put a video right after you wash them because they are severely tangled. It's just part of the process of having a doll with human hair. That's just how it is, you know? So you could say, bam. She's all detangled now, and we're gonna rinse her out in the sink eventually. So this was the before, and let's do this section now. You can see like, you just gotta work at it like this. 
Bam. See gently. Boom, boom, boom. And we're just wiggling the comb and just going as we're going down, you know? It's not a big deal. It's very much a fun job. I think kids would enjoy this especially as they're literally detangling doll hair. This is the most satisfying thing ever. Even for a parent to sit there and just to detangle and get it all nice and clean. You can see there's a mat right here. See? There's a tangle right there. You just kind of like do like this. Gentle. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of dent gently. There's a mat and it's gone just like that. So easy, look how nice this stuff is. It comes right out. Okay. And these are pretty cool dolls. They have no dolls like this on the market. They have no dolls that have human hair. There's not one that you could sit there in the style and bring in the water. So it's, if you stay away from irons, this tends not to happen too much. So the iron is the cause of most of these tangles in here, the dryness, definitely, in my opinion. Like when she dries, she's gonna have some amazing hair, you guys. So just take it, comb it through. You can see it just like that, very easy. I'm not digging and dragging down, I'm digging and picking out like this. That's, that's the low technique right there that I like to do. So you dig and you pick out like this. So very, very important not to pull this hair up. I'm not losing, how much hair did I lose? So we're like three strands maybe. Not a lot at all, you guys. So take the hair and you want to dig and pull out. As you're trying to pull out the teasing that was caused from the shampoo. And again, this is not even from agitating or scratching the scalp. This is just from scrunching like this. So she is an older doll. She's not a newer doll. This is the one that I've been having for years that I said that I only washed once or whatever, and she was in relatively great condition. Okay, so this is all nice and silky, you can see. I poured it down the middle now, and she's completely detangled. Very, it's, it's so easy, you guys, it really truly is. And all you got left to do is just little, this little section right here. So I'm glad to tell you that they are fully stocked. I'm very, very happy with her. And she fully restocked everything. It took her all, at least oh, a long time. So, so you just start from the ends, work your way up, pick, 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 pick. Um, a wider tooth comb would also help too if you guys have a wider teeth on your comb and not so fine tooth. This is that would help out a lot too. You can see, so easy picking and not dragging. Pick up, pick up. And so you get them tangles up. You don't want to drag and pull straight down because then you're going to pull the hair out. You want to pick up. So if you hit like a little snarl or a snag, pull away. Don't drag it down. Eventually you will get all the tangles out and she's going to be gorgeous, you guys. She's coming out so pretty. I mean, like, this is a big difference. It's so great. Okay. Digging and pulling, okay, pull, pick, and you can see exactly what I'm doing, hopefully, I'm just pulling, but not enough to where it's going to be like, okay, like that way, pull, see, I'm pulling away from her, and not digging into her scalp, just giving the hair direction, the hair needs direction right now, it's all clustered in there and I don't know which direction it's going. Pick, pick away, you know? It's a lot of fun to do, especially for older children because it teaches them responsibility too. Take care of their little dolls with the crazy hair after every time you wash it. And again, you won't have to wash it that often. I mean, if you don't curl it and you leave it as is, this doll is immaculate. It will stay in immaculate condition. It's only when you use hot tools and you like crimp it or curl it, that's the only way this hair gets so tangled. It'll tangle a little bit when you don't crimp it, but it won't be this severe, not unless you use the hot tools on it, which is the main purpose of the doll. So 
Okay, we're gonna go wash this out in a minute, but I just wanna show you I'm pulling away and not dragging down, okay? And this is just what I do personally. So this is not a right way or a wrong way. I just feel like this is what I do. I'm just sharing my advice, okay? Pull, if you hit, if you hit a snarl, you need to pull away. You don't wanna drag it further down because then you're just gonna pull the hair out. But after it's completely detangled, you guys, you can actually sit there and comb it through now. So we're gonna comb everything out. You guys, look, see? Look how fast that was. She's already detangled. Look how nice, this is so cool. So much fun to do. So she is now completely detangled and now she's ready to be rinsed. So now all you gotta do is you bring it to the sink and rinse her out. And she shouldn't detangle. Like I lost like this much hair, like three strands maybe at the most. That's not bad. You know, you compare it to your kids when you wash your kids' hair. How much hair do you lose? A whole bunch of it, I'm sure. Um, I lost three strands of hair literally using a fine tooth comb. So I'm gonna go wash it out. I'm gonna take you guys with me. So before rinsing, you guys, I wanted to tell you something. If your doll's hair was really dry from curling and straightening and things like that, and you can let it sit overnight with the conditioner in it and it will deep condition the hair, you can let her sit just like this in the sink overnight and just wash her out the next day. But if she's not that bad and you just use the conditioner to detangle her hair, it's you can rinse it out. It should be fine. As you can see, it's got body in it. Do you see this? She's got like waves, you guys, it's so, so pretty. So, so great. So we're gonna um, rinse this out with probably cold water. Just wanna do like low temperature settings. It's just a recommendation of mine. I don't know if this is right or wrong, but they tell you to do that with the mannequins. You can't do really, really hot water. I'm gonna go rinse out there, no lie. Like, Silk. You see that silk, you guys? That's so. That's that's just great quality hair right there. And we're going to get her comb also and rinse that off because we need to, you know, comb out her hair and everything afterwards. You don't want to agitate the hair when you're rinsing it. You just want to just let the water run over it. Okay. You don't want to cause any more tangles. It's very very important. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. I'm using. You can use um, cold, just regular tap water. You don't have to use anything cold, just regular tap water. It should rinse out the conditioner. All right. And these clothes are cotton, so you don't have to worry about like, you know, if, if they get wet, they'll be fine. So let's go get her comb and we're gonna rinse her comb off too. Okay, you guys, so now all you gotta do is just comb it out. You either air dry her, which I would recommend, just letting her air dry overnight, or you could put the blow dry on her and just hot dry her. But you will have a little bit of tangling, but it won't be too bad. You know, you just have to comb it out once more while it's wet, and then you should be able to just rake right through it. See, I'm raking my comb right through it. It's not tangling, it's fine now. So you should be good. You let her dry overnight, you guys, and you can see it's tangle free now, so. Just a little wet right now, but she's tangle free. I'm gonna let mine air dry overnight, but it's you can see you guys, it's that easy literally to detangle her hair. It took no time at all. But I mean, literally, you can just rake a brush through it now and you should be fine. So if you have a powder brush, go for it. You should be just fine. So this comb is just for detangling purposes, but I'm just showing you like you can take random sections like I'm doing, you just bam, bam. So just brush it out with your little paddle brush and you should be good to go now. So this has been how to detangle a My Salon doll. If you guys like this video, just remember to like and subscribe and you'll see more doll videos. Bye.